Hello, students. As I'm sure you know by now, in my opinion, the best way to learn physics is to go sailing. So your extra credit assignment for today is to plan a sailing trip. We're going to go from Florida over to the Bahamas. More specifically, we're going to go from the city of Miami over to a tiny Bahamian island called Bimini. We're gonna sail over there, sit on the beach, do some snorkeling, some scuba diving, and enjoy life. But in order to get there, we need to know some physics and some math. So let me share my screen here and let's see what I mean. All right, so if you look at the map here, you'll see the United States and right down here, those islands that you see there, those are the Bahim those are the Bahamas, several different islands. The one that we want in particular is one called Bimini. Let's zoom in on it. Bimini is such a tiny island, you don't even see it yet. Even at this zoom level, it doesn't show up. But if we zoom in a little more, there it is. It just appeared. All right. All right, so our job is to uh, get us over to Bimini. Now, if you look at the map, you see it's pretty much straight east. And if you were to measure it, you would find that it's almost exactly 50 miles. Now, that's going to be 50 nautical miles. I don't want to get into the difference between nautical miles and regular miles. It's only about a 15% difference. So I'm just going to call it miles, even though it's actually nautical miles. All right, so it's uh, almost exactly 50 miles straight east of Miami. So uh, one thing that I want you to do is to figure out how long it's going to take us there. The speed of a sailboat is kind of hard to predict because it depends on the wind strength, but under typical conditions, it's a good average number to use is about five miles per hour. Now that's going to be five nautical miles per hour. Okay, so five miles per hour. So five nautical miles are called per hour would be called five knots. I'm sure you guys have heard that term used in movies or whatnot. So five knots means five nautical miles per hour. But let's not worry about that. I don't want to get hung up on the details. Let's just call it five miles per hour. All right, so if I were to ask you what direction do we need to point the boat and how long it takes to get there, well, when I ask that to students, almost everybody tells me, well, that's easy. Just point the boat east and in 10 hours, you'll be there. Well, I can tell you from firsthand experience, that's not the way it works. Uh, if you were to do that, what would happen is uh, after 10 mile, or after 10 hours are done, you'd look at your watch and say, okay, we should be there. Where's the island? I don't see the island. So you keep on sailing and after another hour or so, still no island. So what happened is you missed the island completely because you forgot about the Gulf Stream current. What happens is in between the Florida and the Bahamas, the water moves north at a pretty good speed. Uh, it's, uh, it varies from region to region, but in this region here, it's about three miles per hour. And again, that's three nautical miles. So that's three knots. But again, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to call it three, three miles per hour. OK, so what's happening here is if you don't take that into account, if you point the boat east, right? so you're going at a speed of five miles per hour through the water, which is what the, uh, the speedometer on a boat reads. It reads your speed through the water. It doesn't know that the water is carrying you north at a speed of about three miles per hour. And so you think you're going east, but in reality, you're going northeast-ish. And so you just overshoot the island completely, sail by it. And uh, so if you were going to a further island than just this, um, you might not have enough water and food. So you miss the island. You don't know where you are. You, you uh, run out of food and water and you die. So knowing, knowing some math and physics is really important if you want to go sailing. All right. So... Your job for extra credit here is to figure out what direction do we need to point the boat, knowing that the Gulf Stream current is going to carry us north, what direction do we need to point the boat to, count, to counteract that so that the boat ends up going straight east. Now, let me warn you that your first intuition is probably not going to be right. 
most people, when they solve this problem, the way they do it is they say, well, I know how to do trigonometry. This is easy. So if I know that this side here is three and this side here is five, I can easily figure out what that angle is. And then once I know what that angle is, I can just point the boat south of east by that same angle. And then because of the action of the current, the boat will end up going straight east and I'll make it to Bimini and I'll kick back and do some snorkeling. Well, you're gonna be disappointed. Now, the approach, if you take this angle and you put it in here and steer south of east by that angle, I mean, it's not gonna be horribly off, but it will not be exactly right. And you should know enough math and physics that you should be able to get it exactly right. Okay, so your job is to figure out what angle do you need to steer the boat at south of east in order to make it that the, so that the current will carry you north and so the boat will end up going straight east. If we assume that the boat speed through the water is five miles per hour and the speed of the Gulf Stream current is three miles per hour to the north, what angle do you need to steer the boat at? Okay, so if you can figure that out and write it up and submit it, I'll give you some extra credit. But remember, if, you, if what you do is you calculate that first angle that I showed you in yellow and tell me what that angle is, the answer is no, I'm not gonna give you the right, I'm not gonna give you the credit because that's not exactly the right answer. I mean, admittedly, it's not far off, but you can do better. So I don't wanna tell you anymore because this is extra credit, right? If you wanna get extra credit, you gotta earn the extra credit. You gotta figure it out on your own. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Good luck with the extra credit. See you later.